it will be a blessing to all of us. Amen. Daddy, please, how did you come by such a beautiful wife? <laughs> well, um, it's, it's, it's a story I've shared many times, but yeah. we were in the same university. Wow. Uh, I never met her whilst we were in school. Never met her. On the day that I was leaving campus, I remember I was on the 31st of May. Yes. On the 31st of May, 2005, I was leaving campus. Actually, I was going to pick up an introductory letter. Okay. To renew my UK visa. Okay. Uh, so when I was going for the introductory letter, I was sitting in the car, in my car, with uh, a friend of mine. That time, they knew me on campus as bishop. Yes, please. So there was a queue, and the registrar's guy, the ad administrator, said, oh, bishop, you wait in the car. When I find it, I'll bring it to you. Yes, please. So I was sitting in the car, and I saw this beautiful young lady, <laughs> sandwiched by two light-skinned ladies, ladies wow. and they were coming. So I told um, Stephen, the gentleman that was sitting in my car, that um, he's, he's in church. So I told him that when she was coming, and interesting, that was the first time Stephen was sitting in my car. Wow. I never driven with, her, with him before. So he came to look for me. I was a bit late. So I said, okay, whatever the conversation is, you follow me. Uh, we can have the conversation whilst <laughs> we drive. Yes, please. So I pick it up. Then I drop you off before I go to Accra. Because I was leaving, I was leaving Cape Coast um, to Accra the same day. So I, I told him that that's my wife. In fact, it, it's something that dropped in me. I keep saying this. I heard it, and normally, the normal me would have processed it. Yes, Papa. I'm very slow in talking about, say, visions, revelations, hearing and what have you. But when it dropped, I just said, that's my wife. And Stephen was in the car. And Stephen asked me, Bishop, you don't talk like that. What, what do you do? I said, then she, he asked, which of them? Okay, because there were three. There were three. So I said, the dark one. Interestingly, she was in school with Stephen. So Stephen knew her. Wow. So I believe that God allowed Stephen to be in there because car. there was no way I was going to call her. <laughs> it was impossible. <laughs> that I was going to be able to say, hello, uh, please, I want to talk to you. <laughs> and so that's why uh, uh, Teresa them they normally say that while I was in school, I was more pleased. <laughs> but I wouldn't have called her. Yes, Papa. Although he had dropped, it would have been very difficult for me. God knew that that was a weakness. God had to complement that weakness by placing yes, by Stephen. my side a linguist. <laughs> Somebody that was able to, I mean, that was going to break the ice. So yes. Stephen called her. She was talking to Stephen. Stephen said, um, mentioned something like he's, he's been trying to reach her, he's unable to get her, said he's changed her number, this a new number. So when she was giving Stephen her number, then I asked her, oh, can I take the number two? <laughs> wow. So I took the number. She said, oh, yes, why not? I took the number from her. I didn't say why not. <laughs> okay. okay. So she, took, she, she, asked, she allowed me to have the number. Picked the number. Called her, um, I think, about two weeks. Yes. About two weeks after. Because although I had heard, I was still... Processing it. Processing it. Hey, is it really the case and all of that? But then I called her and uh, yeah, started. Uh, so that when you called her two weeks after you started a friendship or? Yeah, we started a friendship. Okay. We started a friendship. Um, at, at that time, I think when I called her, I was traveling. I was traveling. I was leaving Ghana. So I called her and I told her that when I get to where I'm going, I'll, I'll, I'll call her again. So. We started talking on phone. It was okay. mainly a phone, phone, yes. phone uh, relationship. Uh, talking, and uh, I came back to Ghana, went to visit her, um, went to her father. One very interesting thing happened. Um, the, 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 um, the father, up to now, gets very amazed whenever I bring it up. You know, one day I, w I walked into the house, I mean, drove there, went into the house. 
And um, I said, I have a meeting with the parents. Wow. Oh, yes. So I sat with the mother, the father, on their compound. Not even in their living area. They were sitting in their compound, in their house. Then the father asked me, what brought me there? I said, I want to marry your daughter. And the father could not believe it. <laughs> but and at that time, had you proposed to her? No, I had proposed to her. Wow. I proposed to her. But you know, it's unheard of. You should yes. even get elders to even go and break that. No, no, no. I went straight. I said, <laughs> and the father was shocked. <laughs> I was very, very shocked because I was tiny, yes. I was small. I think he was wondering. <laughs> I'm crying, I'm crying. <laughs> but I mean, that was the kind of um, conviction I had. I was so convinced um, without any shred of doubt that she's the person and she's the one that I wanted to be with. And um, so I went straight to the parents, spoke to the parents. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, we started. Wow. The, the parents told me, uh, okay, okay, so you want to marry? I said, yeah, I want to. All right, um, you go. That's, how the, what, wow. that's what the father said. <laughs> you go. We'll also think about it and pray about it and we'll get back to you. Wow. And they didn't relent. They went to, into prayer. She also went into prayer. Wow. She went to a Dunfa to pray. I told my wow. tell my wow. story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that was it. I mean, <laughs> So I was there in Europe one day. I was in, I think I was in Italy or Holland, mm, somewhere. Somewhere in Europe. Somewhere in Europe, I have forgotten. Then I had a call from her and it was, um, so parents have agreed that we can go ahead and um, all of that. And so I told, that time I was in the eye. So I called my father, as soon as her phone dropped, I called my father. Wow. And I said, uh, that, Please arrange with your kinsmen and go to a family house to do the knocking before wow. I even come to Ghana. Wow. <laughs> so the knocking was done whilst I was even in, outside, uh, the outside Ghana. Wow. So when I came, it was more of now the formalities had to begin. Um, but the whole process of asking to my uh, knocking, um, and because the knocking was done in somewhere October, October. November. October. Okay, so somewhere October, the knocking was done. I wasn't even in Ghana. I came back to Ghana. Like the same year that you, you met her? Yeah, the same yes. year that I met her. I met her in May, uh, but I was in and out. I, w uh, I was in and out. She, my, fa my father and family went to see her people in October. I wasn't in Ghana. I got back into Ghana somewhere around maybe December, November, December. It was before Christmas. Before Christmas. Then I went outside again. And we married in July. Eesh. So, wow. uh, but she'll tell us. Wow. Maybe, wow. you know, ladies are more detailed. Yes, I, yes. I, I, but I, I remember. It's actually those. done very well. Wow. You know, how 